Hey guys, my name is Akhil and welcome to BTK Credit Guide. So in this video, I brought you the coding question solution for round two from Miso. So around three days, I have released that the hacker rank, uh, the Miso have been releasing the round one results, right? And few of our candidates have written the test essay and they have cleared the round two also. So mostly they have given the SQL questions. So in this video, we'll be dealing about the Miso round two solutions. So let's go, go, let's dive into that. So this is the one question that they have given. So e-commerce, warehouse, stocks and return report. So we need to write a SQL query for this. So let us go through that. So an e-commerce company maintains records of his warehouse stock. The warehouse team records incoming stocks and the customer service records any stock that is returned by customer. The database contains information from June through August of 2023. So from June to August 2023, so they will be storing the data. The company wants to maintain a report that displays the current stock count of each product considering both incoming stock and return items. So the reason should be following columns ID, title, stock, total stock, total result. So this is how the expect output table should be looking like. So you should have the, all the attributes like ID, title, stock, total stock, total returns. Okay. And only returns in, so note, only returns in July 2023 should be included in the report. So only returns which are in the June 2020, July 2023 should only be reported in the database. <clears throat> Let's see the schema. So here is the projects table with the name ID type is an integer and they have the uh, constants like primary and description product ID. So they in the projects only there are two, two attributes. One is ID as well as the title coming to the stocks table. So they have two, uh, two attributes. One is product ID and another one is quantity, which has a foreign key with product ID of projects of ID. Okay, and coming to the returns, so it has it also has the two attributes project ID, is, which is an integer, and the project key is a foreign key of this for project key and DD of and DTS. I think it's a uh, date time, yeah. Okay, so this is the schema provided. Let's go to the sample sample data tables. So here are the projects, so ID number one, two, three, and these are the titles for that. And here are the stocks. So for project ID, we have the quantity of 80, for two, we have the 56. And three, we have 13. And the returns are for product one, we have the return on 2023, 7, 28, which means July. So we will be considering all the dates which are in July. So that's the thing. So the solution for this, so the expected for this uh, result are, so in this manner, it should be printing. For title one, slick widget, we need to have the total stock 80, total return six. So in the table, we need to, in the following, in the the above table we need to consider this table to check the number of returns are there so total for the first project we have six returns and for the second project we have four as well as total stock 56 and take it gadget we have 13 stocks and one return so this is the expected table that we need to print so let's see the sql query so this is the sql query guys so select which is an id title and this is a sum function as total cost stock also this total returns so we this will be selecting from projects and also from the stock table where we'll be checking it also from the returns table so based on this we'll be what do you doing we'll be doing a left on all these tables then after that so as per the conditions they are provided we'll be checking the dates in between july 1st to july end so then we'll be returning on the projects which is an order by of hashing order as a simple SQL query. So you can, I will be pausing the video for five seconds. You can have a look at the query or you can take a screenshot of that. Super. So after running this query, the output will be so in this manner. So you'll be getting the correct output in case if you execute the correct code. That's it in this video, guys. So I'll be coming back to you again for latest more updates as well as tech questions and the campus placement and placement drives. So please do update yourself and be uh, uh, be available every time when i post a video on my channel that's it in this video guys all the best bye bye